While Santo Domingo, the main port and capital of the Dominican Republic, is a bastion of culture and history, Puerto Plata to the north has developed into a tourism center. Away from the beach, a visit to the Amber Museum in Puerto Plata sheds an intriguing light on the premise of Jurassic Park. We have here a, a tree called Algarrobo. As soon as the sap comes out, it's liquid. So the insect goes there to try to eat something because it thinks there is a honey, something like that. But it gets trapped. And the second floor comes on top of him and seal it for the eternity. Buried under great pressure for over 40 million years, the sap is transformed into amber. We call really the amber the golden window to the past. I get emotion every time that I look inside and I see something important. But there is one uh, specimen which is very interesting. There is a full, complete lizard. Another very important finding is a mammalian hair. Of, uh, that naturally, it comes from mammalia. We think it was a small roditor, a small animal, a small animal that was living in the continent. So it uh, reinforced once more the theory of the Mesoamerica that, been, that was all attached before was submerged and after re-emerged in pieces that formed the Antilles. Here in the Dominican Republic we have the a more variety of color than any place else in the world. And the blue amber of course is the most precious one because it's very rare to find. Could we extract DNA from amber and recreate an extinct species? Are the dinosaurs of Jurassic Park so far-fetched? For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.